Oh, it was incredible. Like, uh, to be able to foil in three to four knots of wind, um, just to be able to have that boost and, and give you that extra oomph you need. Yeah. Once you're up and foiling, the sail takes over and you can almost foil in no wind. So, just getting the speed to get up and reduce your, your wetted surface and, and get the speed going, then the sail takes over and it's a perfect combination for Skeeter and Stoke. Excellent. How's it going setting up? Uh, pretty simple. Um, we've got, well, at the moment we attached it onto the, onto the rider vertical. We will make an adapter kit somewhere down, uh, like somewhere soon, and um, which will mount onto the rudder box. So that will make it easier to launch. Uh, at the moment we have to tip it over on its side and, and um, do that, which is not ideal. Some places can actually do that if you're launching from a jetty or something like that. That's perfect. And you can save that cost by doing so. So, um, yeah, doing an adapter kit would be ideal, I think. But it's a brilliant bit of kit, and uh, the two combined is uh, brilliant. Awesome. And how'd you go? Where'd you attach the remote? Um, so, the remote was attached onto the tiller extension, so. Oh, that one's attached to the tiller extension, and. Um, I had a just in arm's reach so I could just use the trigger as normal and didn't impede uh, anything, didn't get in the way um, and yeah, it worked really well. And how much power was it? More than just the standard motor, more than enough to get up foiling just as the unit. So, <laughs> um, more than enough to, to get you up and yeah, with a little bit of pressure in the sail then you're, you're right to go. But uh, if you didn't have the sail up, you could get up foiling. <laughs> Might be a bit tricky to balance it though, but it'll be good fun.